introduce myself. My name is William Vanderzijden. I'm a math instructor at the Odessa College. And before my presentation begins, I want to say thank you very much to our administration. This is a wonderful experience. Y'all have been great for us. Uh, Odessa College, where are we located? We're in far west Texas. We were established in 1906, and we service roughly 33,000 square miles. To put that in context, that's about the size of the whole state of Indiana. We are a big area. We are 58% Hispanic, so we're a Hispanic-serving community college. At Odessa College, this is our, how we break up our semesters. We are eight-week terms. We have two eight-week terms in the fall and two eight-weeks in the spring. It provides us with the advantages of being able to offer additional classes. There are some disadvantages because the pace is quick yeah. and we have to be intentful on everything we do. So some of the current challenges that we're experiencing in, in, in our classrooms. Instructors tend to be the focus of the lectures. The learning will occur at varying paces and homework is usually done without any peer or instructor support plus the cost of the materials. We've heard that before already in earlier presentations. The cost can be very, really a hard thing for our students. Well, students need to be the focus of our attention. And there needs to be flexibility in the pacing of our classes. And the support needs to be regular and timely. And we need to mitigate the cost of our course materials. And there needs to be an ability for us to give them more timely feedback. Well, what we did at Odessa College is we flipped our co-requisite classrooms. I'm currently using Lumen Ohm. Lumen Ohm has been a very, Lumen has been a very good partner with us, and I'm using their own platform. In this, the students are responsible for their own learning. The focus of our class time shifts from instruction to application. The students at home, what can they do? They can view course-related materials and videos at any time. They can focus on the concepts at home at their own pace. They can take customized notes. They're not rushing through notes now. They can sit and learn their notes. And they can receive instant feedback in class when they see me in class. The focus now is going to be on our students. And now I can focus on one-to-one -one or small groups with the students. The students are supported now from all angles, from technology to general homework help, or anything that they may need. This creates a very dynamic environment. There is still conversations in class, but the conversations are focused upon mathematics. We let them at home, we watch the videos, and they take a few introductory problems. I actually have them do an introductory problem for accrediting class. It's a grade in my class. When they come to class, I want them to have their notes all ready for me, and I check on them. We work on homework assignments in class. We collaborate in small groups for better understanding, and we rewatch videos, and now the questions are more geared toward misunderstandings or towards better questions in class, so I can, can, I can clear up any confusing topics. The classes we currently offer right now are Math 1332, which is usually called Quantitative Reasoning. We call it Contemporary Math. We offer College Algebra 1314, and Math 1324 is our co-requisite business math class. We also have the option for a stats class. Um, it's not had very great demand just yet, but we're hoping the demand will pick up. So the Lumen Own platform has provided me with many different learning modalities for our students. Some of our students learn better from videos. Some of our students learn better from reading. And so we have an online textbook that's been from OpenStax, and we have online videos for the students to, to watch as well. And the students must complete the video lessons prior to showing up to class. So the online textbook, what's in the online textbook? It's very good. It's from OpenStax provided through a Lumen link. The online textbook gives them the objectives of the lesson. It also gives them drawings and diagrams and charts that they can now copy in their notes. And also it gives them practice problems that they can do in their notes. The video lessons. The videos are typically about 10 minutes each. The videos show the concepts and they can stop the videos and rewind the videos and go over the concepts that maybe they didn't understand. Some lessons will have a few questions for the students to answer at the end of the videos. Some of mine just have click here that you watch the video and I'm okay with that. But some of ours also have please complete this one lesson problem. Now the students notes. When they walk into class these notes are expected to be finished and the notes should be at least one page long. I never try to dictate what a student's notes should look like because these are individual to the students, but I want to make sure that they've at least put effort into them. 
The students should take these notes as their homework. The informal assessments, such as homework assessments, I'm oh, sorry, that's not me, I'm sorry. <laughs> somebody left their phone. Um, but the informal assessments, they are done now in class. And any misconceptions can now be discussed within the groups. And what I usually ask them to do is talk to each other before they ask me questions. So some of the pros and cons. The students are almost 100% engaged. Nobody is on their phone texting. Nobody is talking about last night's TV show. The classrooms are dynamic. We are all working on math. It improves the critical thinking. The emphasis now becomes on problem solving, but the disadvantages, I need to get the students to buy in originally. And it does take a little bit of setup on the instructor's part, but it's manageable. So here's our results. For our 1314 class, which is our college algebra class, we had almost 1,600 students uh, attempt the course, and almost 1,400 students pass. That's an 87.5% completion rate with a C or better. Math 1332 is my class. 500 students, give or take 400 pass. I'm almost at an 80%. And this is students who struggle with math that would normally be in developmental courses, and they're passing our courses with an 80% and greater rate. And please, if y'all have any questions, any comments, you want to ask us anything, there's all of our uh, um, email addresses, and there's our mailing address, please. We'd love for you to ask us questions. And thank you very much for your time.